Hey guys. Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a DC Direct black and white Batman statue by Todd McFarlane. I am super excited for this piece, guys. So, like always, we start off just showing you the, the, the box. Yeah, it looks like, like his pose is going to be like that. Yeah. Todd McFarlane's very big with like the Whoa. whole cape. He, uh, he does a lot of great yeah. work with the capes. It actually looks like he was in, like, Space Armor. Oh, that other one? Yeah, that's, uh, um... Yeah. Right, so... one. It looks like Space Armor. All right, guys, so that's the box. Now I'm going to cut it open, and uh, we're going to show you the inside. So we got the uh, the box out. Now it's the styrofoam. It's already been pre-cut for the video, obviously. So take it off. And Shoot. I... I think it's a really, like, thick piece, like, it, you can easily break. This thing's like definitely got fragile. some weight to it. So it's all one piece. I think it's fragile. There he is. Let's put him down so we can get a good look at this guy. All right, so. All right, so now we got him out. That's what he looks like, so. Very nice cape work here. Yeah. Todd McFarlane's very, very good with capes. You got that symbol right there. Looks really good. Obviously black and white because yeah. even on the box, black and white. Yep. And look at the work that he, he did on this cape. Like, it looks so like, like I would give this five stars. This is actually awesome. Yeah, this thing's impressive. I mean, I knew I wanted it when I saw it right when I heard that Todd McFarlane was going to be involved in this. I mean, yeah. just look at all the different work, like all the line work he did over here. Like it the... looks really fragile. Well, it is a statue, so. Yeah, they're all fragile. Yeah. He's got some points up here, like the peaks here. Maybe he's got like his battering under there or something like that. Very nice. So the only part you actually see of Batman himself is just a little bit of the chest. The chest and the stomach. And then his face. Now let's see the portrait. Really nice. Really, really nice. McFarlane did a great job in this. You got the points in the ears. You got the different color up there. See, I love how he has like a gray and the black. Like on the cape and stuff like that. See, like even on the base, if you guys can see that. Like it, it doesn't show his boots. It's all cape. Different like... Uh, like degrees of like the cape being like blown around or whatever. That is a beautiful piece. To uh, be careful with it because it's got a lot of uh, a lot of points everywhere, so you can't like you can't just like freely run your hand across. But that is really cool. I don't want to show you guys the top there. I know I already did, but still. Yeah, like I said, you don't even see his boots or anything. Like, McFarlane definitely, uh, 1,809 out of 5,000. So he pre he completely engulfed his body in the cape. And it, it definitely has a lot of, uh, resemblance to his spawn designs. Like, he always had spawn with, like, a lot of, uh, you know, the, the, the character was here in the cape just engulfed him. He was, he loves capes, apparently. And you know what? I love it. This piece is fantastic. This thing, uh, I believe it retails for about $150. So, um, so take it for what it's worth. Um, I definitely like this. It's got some weight to it. And I just think he did a great job. You got, like I said, the, the Batman symbol is a little bit different there too. Um, he did a good job on the, the face sculpt. Please. And I love the, the cape. Just the different work with the cape. Uh, what do you think about it, bud? I think it, like, I like how they added, like, those, like, black and white. Like, almost like it's actually in, like, a cartoon. Um, like, the cartoon style. Yeah, it's like they brought a comic book to life. Yeah, pretty much. But, obviously, like, not moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah not moving. That would be creepy. Yeah. But just, like, look at it. Like, you can see, like, his shoulders here, the the lighter colors kind of going off of it and stuff. His yeah. arms up here. So, yeah, he probably has, like, a battering or something in that hand. 
Or maybe that he drank the trick of them. Maybe. Maybe. But yeah, this is a beautiful piece. I, I'm definitely uh I'm definitely very excited to add this to the collection. Um I, I I jumped on it as soon as I was able to. As soon as I saw it up for pre order, I jumped on it because I knew that this was gonna go really good with my Batman uh statue collection. So very excited to have it. I like Todd McFarlane's work and a lot of the other things he does. So me personally, very excited for this. I give this two thumbs up. I love it. I give it this two thumbs up too yep. and i like the design like how they're very creative and like make it more like thick than just like super fragile yeah i just like that he's completely engulfed in the cape like the cape yeah. completely consumes this piece yeah. and it's just like it's not just one thing like there's a lot of different cur uh, curves and cuts over here so i mean you could just imagine how massive this cape is on this batman yeah, seriously. But um, but it is great. It's got some weight to it, like I said, so it doesn't feel like a cheesy piece. Um, and I think it's a very, very welcoming piece, especially being Todd McFarlane adding that to the collection. I've always been a fan of like the big capes like this, especially on Batman. Um, so it's great. I, I'm I'm very happy with it, and uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, and please tell us who. Who's, like, what part of the statue is your favorite? Yeah, definitely, guys. So, uh, comment down below what, what, what you like about the statue and if you have one or if you plan on getting one. So, uh, stay safe out there, guys. Thank you very, very much for uh, subscribing and uh, watching. Take care, guys.